brothers and sisters our offering this morning is for our daily vacation bible school and though it looks very much like we will not be able to have daily vacation bible school at least certainly not in the way we normally do this summer uh, nonetheless there is great hope that we will be able to do so next summer in the normal way, hopefully. But then also, I don't know right at this moment whether Vacation Bible School has talked about alternative ideas or anything like this. Regardless, your donations to Daily Vacation Bible School for Athens and uh, surrounding area will be used for the sharing of the gospel with the children of this area either this year or next year, but it will be used for that purpose. Now, let us come before the Lord in congregational prayer. In terms of congregational prayer, like I mentioned, just look at the Our Church family, which hopefully has some updates for you regarding uh, some of the folks in our congregation particularly. Now, let's come to the Lord in congregational prayer. Father in heaven, thank you so very much again for bringing us together this morning. Thank you so much for your holiness and righteousness, which you impart upon us through Jesus Christ our Lord, and not through our own deserving, through our own efforts, but through grace alone. Thank you so much for that. Lord, we pray that because of your grace to us, because of your love for us, because of your holiness and righteousness, which you impart upon us, Lord, may we flow like water, like rivers and streams to bring life to the people of this world. Lord, may we, may we share the love of God his holiness and righteousness with all whom we meet. Lord, please guide us as we look at your holiness this morning. May you teach us today what we need to learn. Would you guide the words of my mouth and the meditations of all of our hearts? Lord, we pray, too, that you would be with this world. Lord, Lord, in some senses, we see this world striving for, uh, for moral righteousness. And, Lord, sometimes it is misguided. Sometimes it is just outright wrong. But at the same time, we know that there is a longing within the human heart for moral perfection, for things to be right. Lord, please take and shape that within us. Lord, may it no longer be self-centered. May it no longer be about me. But instead, may my focus, may our focuses be on justice being done for others. May all of us selflessly seek what is right and good in this world. Would you teach us, O oh God, as a human race, what it means to be righteous and holy and perfect? Would you draw us into that loving relationship that we were always meant to have? Lord, we think so much of the unrest and protests regarding racism Lord, we think of anti-black racism, we think of uh, anti-indigenous racism here in this country and wherever it is found throughout this world. Any kind of racism, Lord God, we pray that you would teach us to celebrate the differences between people of different colors. May we see the skin colors as beautiful, a beautiful palette, which you have painted upon. May we celebrate those uniquenesses. Lord, further than that, we pray that justice would be done not only between races, but also between those of different genders. 
Lord, regardless of whether we agree with people's morality, Lord, we do know that all people are created in your image and are worthy, therefore, as your image bearers of our love, of our respect. Lord, we pray that you would help us in that as well. Father, we pray too, as coronavirus continues to rampage throughout this world, we pray that you would continue to be with healthcare workers. We, we thank you so much for the, the opportunity to open up a bit here in Ontario and, and particularly for us who are in stage two. We pray for, for churches and other communities. We pray for folks as they're figuring out the new rules and regulations and how that works out. Lord, we pray for wisdom for our own leadership, for the elders and deacons as they seek to figure out uh, what, what steps we may take for opening up or not. Lord, we pray for guidance in all of this, knowing that we very much want to get together, but knowing also that we want to honor the government that you have put in place, and also that we want to honor those who are experts in their fields, and that we want to obey them, and that we also want to keep those among us who may be vulnerable safe. So, Lord, please give us wisdom and patience. Father, we ask all of these things, and we ask for for this whole world. In Jesus' name, amen.